Do you know, you know John C. Maxwell, of course, right? Yeah, I was just talking about him the other day. I have some books over there. Right, and he was talking about, you know, um, I forgot exactly how he said it, but it's about focusing on your strength. Uh, yeah. When it's time to strength or something like that, but when it's time to make your choice, that's when you focus on your weakness, when it's a matter of choice. But when it's a matter of uh, going higher or becoming the best or the greatest, your strength, you only need this much to become above average, average right? But uh, your weakness, if you start focusing on your weakness when it's time to build greatness, it takes too far because it's your weakness, right? But if you have to make a choice, he said it somehow, I forgot exactly how I said it, but I like what you just brought up, which is um, if you know that you don't like doing something, right? You know, don't don't do it because there's always all these other choices that you probably love doing that will still accomplish the same result you're looking to get, right? So in your case, that will be uh, you want to work out, you want to stay fit. But you well, yeah. So so it's, so it's like well, with that, I was actually just quoting that the other day. Now I was in. I'm going to tell you two stories about John Maxwell. Right. One is from 2002. One of them is from 2013. Okay. So 2002, I'm in an auditorium with John Maxwell, and he's speaking at an Amway convention, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about this, this same thing. And I just actually made a show talking about this that I recorded the day that's being edited and released sometime in the next 10 days, right? And that is like what he said, this is 2002, and I've also read this in his books, the guy's consistent. I'm going to tell you the 2013 story that you're going to think is right. fascinating. Right? So right. 2002, I'm sitting there, and he said, well, here's what he said. He said, if you take any skill and grade it from 1 to 10, you're going to be a natural in some areas as a one and you're going to be natural in some areas as maybe a six or if you're really, really good, talented seven. He said, nobody's naturally a nine or 10. He says a whole life of work is going to take you two to three points, three if you really push in a direction. So if you're naturally a six, you can force your way into a nine over a life of hard work. He said, but if you force yourself to improve the one, you'll move from a one to a four. Yeah. With hard work. He right. said, but here's the thing. A four will not make any more than $10 an hour. Absolutely. Yeah. But a nine, people will travel the world to see a nine. Yes. So what should you focus on if you want to make money? Yeah. If you want to make money and that's your outcome, you should focus on where you're naturally a six. Yep. Right? Yeah. I can't jump naturally like Michael Jordan can. That, I was about to quote uh, Gary V. Gary V is the one that quotes that a lot. Like, he's not going to be... Uh, 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 NBA star. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, just, uh, I could do the Tony Robbins. I love Tony Robbins, right? But Tony Robbins, natural, like six, at no motivational speaking, too, right? But then he's really or natural, and then he's really good. Yeah. For, right? He's like, I can do anything. Well, except for jump like Michael Jordan, unless there's bionic implants in a few years, in which case, yeah. the just changes anyway, because everybody can do it. But, like, the thing is, is that, like, there's certain things where I'm really gifted, and so. Where should you work? Well, working on your strengths and compensating weaknesses through systems is a smarter path for that, right? So now here's the 2000, 2013 story about John Maxwell. That's I'm it. in an auditorium. This is 2002. Now, 2013, I'm in an auditorium in Austin. We have 3,000 people come to this event, right? And I'm getting a massage. And the massage therapist says, what do you do? And I said, well, I run a personal development company. She says, oh, do you know John Maxwell? I said, well, yeah, I heard him speak first time in 2002. Right. And she was like... Yeah, I give him massages every time he speaks in town. And I said, really? I said, what's the, what's the, like, you ever talked to him? She said, I love John Maxwell. I said, what's the, you know, like, what's the most impactful thing you've ever heard him say? Here's what she, here's what she said about John Maxwell. Back to creating content, back in the loop, right? Mm. He said that, she said, the most powerful thing I've ever heard him say is he was telling me a story because I asked him, you know, how do you create so much amazing stuff? Mm -hmm. and he said, well, when I was a young man, I made a decision that every day I was going to read for an hour, I was going to write for an hour, mm. I was going to think for an hour. Mm. Three hours. Yep. And, and, and he, I said, okay, what, 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 he, he goes, he said that, and I said, how long ago was that? And he was like, 20 years ago. And, and she's like, well, what happened? And he said, well... After a year, there really wasn't so much difference, but there started to be a separation between me and the people around me. Mm. Um, after two years, it was a little bit more of a separation. I started to just be different. Mm. 
after five years, nobody that I had known before made as much money as me. Yeah. And now there's nobody that I knew up until the point where I started that process and then the next 10 years that makes as much money as me. Hey, my friend, did you like that video? I just need a help from you. I just need help from you. Can you help me? It's just one click. Just click on that subscribe button right now. It should be under this video if you're on a mobile phone or it should be towards your left if you're on a computer. Just click on the subscribe. It's just one click. Can you do me that favor? Actually, you will get notified every single time I release a valuable video like this. I will see you on the next one and uh, peace.